Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this basic baby cardigan sweater. It's for baby boys and girls between zero and three months, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to 12 months. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. And as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop up here on the right hand side and in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now to knit this little sweater, this is the yarn that I used. This is Erin weight yarn. You can also use any number four yarn or 10 ply. For the zero to three month size, you're going to need about 75 grams. And you will also need six buttons that are 12, 13, or even 14 millimeter size. I used 13 millimeter size buttons. Okay, let's get started. And thank you so much for watching. Okay, to make this little sweater, I'll be using these 4.5 millimeter knitting needles. These are US size seven. I'm using circular needles. These are 32 inch long. Now you can also use straight needles. We're going to be knitting the yoke first, then the sleeves and then the body. So you can certainly use straight needles to make this little sweater. Now this is the yarn that I'm going to be using. This is James Seabread Baby Erin. You can also use any number four yarn or 10 ply. So here to begin, the first thing that we need to do is we need to cast on our stitches. I'm going to cast on a total of 44 stitches. So to do this, what we need to do is we need to measure the yarn first. So I'm going to use both needles and I'm going to wrap the yarn around 20 times. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So here we have enough yarn for about 20 stitches. We're going to double it up. We have enough for about 40 stitches. Like I said, I need to cast on a total of 44. So I'm going to add a little bit more, about that much. And now I'm going to make a slip knot here. Now insert both needles through this slip knot. This yarn on this side is the yarn that we just measured and this here is coming from the skein. So you're going to open up the yarn like this and we're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop like this. That's two, three, four, five, six and so on. Make sure that you use both needles because we want the first row to be nice and stretchy. We don't want it to be too tight. So make sure you use both needles. So continue and cast on 44 stitches. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished casting on my stitches. I have 44 now here at the end. Just tie a knot so that the first stitch here doesn't open too much. There, now carefully pull one of the needles off and now we're going to begin. The first thing that we're going to do is the neckline. For the neckline, we're going to knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two for the first row and for row two and three as well. So to begin here, I'm going to knit the first stitch, knit the second stitch, and then purl the next two. And that's how we're going to continue here. So knit two, purl two. knit two, purl two. Continue like this for this first row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. In this row, we have knit two, purl two. I'm at the end. I have the last two stitches here at the end. I purl two. And here is the first row. I have 44 stitches. Now for row two, slip the first stitch, knit the second stitch, and then purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two. Continue like this for the second row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the second row. Here at the end, purl two. And here's the second row with 44 stitches. Turn for the third row. Now for the third row, I'm going to slip the first stitch and in this row and row four, we're going to just knit across. I'm not going to make the neckline too big. 
I'm only going to make these four rows here. So continue, just knit across for this third row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the third row. In this row, I just knit across. Now turn for the fourth row. In the fourth row, same thing. Slip the first stitch and knit across. And this is how we're going to work this fourth row. Just knit across. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished the fourth row. Now we're going to turn here. We're going to begin our pattern now for the body. Now the neckline is done. From here on, this here is going to be the front side of the little sweater. So I'm going to place a stitch marker to mark the front side. And this here is going to be the wrong side. Now this little sweater is for baby girls. So I'm going to be making my buttonholes at the end of the row when we're on the front side but i'm going to show you how you're going to make it if you're making this little sweater for boys which i already have one here this is how it looks so you're going to be making the button holes here at the beginning of the row whereas for girls it's at the end so here let me show you what you need to do if it's for boy this is only for boy so what you're going to do is you're going to knit two you're going to yarn over and here, I like to knit two together through the back. I think that if when you knit it through the back, it creates a nicer hole here, but you can knit it through the front. That would be up to you. And then you're going to knit one. These five stitches here are going to be for the front panels and same thing for the other side. So I'm going to place a stitch marker after I make this. Now, when you come back in the second row, let's say you're coming back, you're going to knit two then this here you're going to knit through the back loop so that the hole is not too big and then knit two at the end and at the beginning here of the second row of the first repeat you're just going to knit five i hope that makes sense but it's going to be the same as for girls but on the different sides now like i said i'm making this for girls so i don't need to make my buttonhole here i need to make it at the end so here i'm going to knit five and I'm going to place a stitch marker. Like I said, these five stitches here are going to be for the button band or the front panels. And now to start the repeat, this is what we're going to do. We're going to knit two, then yarn over. Knit two, yarn over. Knit two, yarn over. And that's how you're going to work this first row to the first repeat. I will meet you here at the end, seven stitches before we finish to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end, I have the last seven stitches, two, four, six, seven. Now here, yarn over, knit two, place a marker here to mark the front panels. Now here at the end, I'm going to make my buttonholes. Like I said, I'm making this little sweater for girls. I already showed you at the beginning of the row what you need to do if you're making this for boys. So here to make the buttonholes for girls, you're going to knit two, yarn over, and then knit two together through the back. You can also knit knit two together through the front, but I'm going to be doing this through the back. Now knit one. And here's the first buttonhole. Now turn for row two of the first repeat. I forgot to mention at the end of this first row of the first repeat, I have a total of 60 stitches. Now turn for the second row. Now each repeat consists of eight rows and at the end of each row from here on for the first repeat, you're always going to have 60 stitches. So here for the second row, I'm going to knit two and this yarn over here, I'm going to knit through the back. If you're making this for boy, then you're just going to knit five and at the end is where you're going to do what I'm doing here. Now knit two, here are the five stitches for the button band or front panels past the stitch marker. Now here what we're going to do is we're going to purl across up to the last five stitches. This is the wrong side. So all you do is just purl across up to the last five stitches where you're going to knit five. If you're making this for boy, then you're going to knit two, knit one through the back loop and then knit two. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of the second row for the first repeat and this row I purled and then knit five here at the end. Now turn for the third row. Now this is the third row of the first repeat. Here 
I'm going to knit five. Pass the stitch marker. Now here, all I'm going to do for this third row is just knit across like this. So continue, finish this third row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is the right side. Here at the end, knit five. Here's the third row with a total of 60 stitches. Turn for the fourth row of the first repeat. In this row, we're going to knit five. Now pass the stitch marker and in this fourth row all we're going to do is just purl across up to the last five stitches where you're going to knit five. Continue, finish this fourth row to the first repeat. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. In this row I purled across. Here these last five stitches I'm going to knit. And here's the fourth row. Now turn. From here on, these five stitches here at the beginning and at the end, we're always going to knit no matter what side you're on. Um, for the next four rows, row five, six, seven, and eight, we're going to knit across and then turn and then knit across. So for a total of four rows, we're going to do this. This is going to create these two rows here of garter stitch. So to do this here, this is what we're going to do. This would be row five of the first repeat. So all you're going to do is just knit these first five stitches past the stitch marker and then knit across. Now once you finish this row here at the end, you're going to turn and then knit across for row six. For row seven, you're going to turn, knit across. For row eight, you're going to turn and knit across. And that's how we're going to complete the first repeat. So finish these four rows and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished rows five, six, seven, and eight. In these four rows, we just knit across. Now this completes the first repeat. I have a total of 60 stitches for each one of these rows for the first repeat. Now we're going to start the second repeat. Again, we're going to repeat the same eight rows. So here to begin, this will be row one of the second repeat. Here I'm going to knit five pass the stitch marker, knit two, yarn over, knit two, yarn over, knit two, yarn over, knit two. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this first row to the second repeat. I will meet you here at the end, seven stitches before we finish, to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the first row to the second repeat. I have the last seven stitches. Now yarn over here and knit two. Pass your stitch marker and knit five. And here's the first row to the second repeat with a total of 84 stitches. Now turn for the second row. Now at the end of each row for the second repeat, we're always going to have 84 stitches. Now for the second row, you're going to knit five, pass the stitch marker, and here you're just going to purl across up to the last five stitches where you're going to knit five. Continue, finish the second row, I'll meet you at the end. I finished the second row, the second repeat. I have 84 stitches in this row. This is on the wrong side. I purled and then knit five here at the end. Now for the third row, here we're going to knit five. Now pass the stitch marker. And in this row, all we're going to do is just knit across for this third row. Continue. I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished the third row. In this row, I knit across. Now turn for row four. We're going to knit five. Pass the stitch marker. 
and here we're going to purl across up to the last five stitches where you're going to knit five. Continue like this for this fourth row to the second repeat. I will meet you at the end. I finished the fourth row. This is the wrong side. In this row, I purled across here the last five stitches I knit. Now turn. Now for rows five, six, seven, and eight, we knit across, but in this fifth row, at the end, I'm going to make my second buttonhole. We're going to be adding buttonholes every 12th row. So here to begin, if you're making the little sweater for boys, this is where you would make your buttonhole. I'm making mine at the end of the row. So here, knit five, pass the stitch marker, knit across, up to the last five stitches. I will meet you here at the end to show you how I'm going to make the second buttonhole. I'm here at the end of the fifth row to the second repeat. Now here at the end of this row, I'm going to make my second buttonhole. So here to make the buttonhole, I'm going to knit two. I'm going to yarn over, knit two together through the back, or you can make it through the front, just be consistent. I'm going to be knitting two through the back and then knit one. And here is the second buttonhole. Now turn. Now for rows six, seven, and eight, we're just going to knit across the yarn over, knit through the back. Now if you're making this for boy, then you would just knit five here and then do what I did here, here at the end where you knit the yarn over through the back loop. Now continue, finish row six, seven, and eight where you just knit across. I will meet you at the end of row eight to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the eighth row. This completes the second repeat. Now we're going to make one more repeat and we're going to do the same thing we did in these last two repeats. We're going to repeat the same eight rows. So here to begin the third repeat, I'm going to knit five. Now this is row one of the third repeat. So here knit five, Pass your stitch marker, knit two, yarn over, knit two, yarn over, knit two. This is how you're going to continue to the end of the row. Here at the end, these two stitches before the stitch marker, you're going to knit two and then knit five. I'll meet you at the end of this first row to the third repeat to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the first row to the third repeat. Now, here at the end, I have the last two stitches. I'm going to yarn over, knit two, pass the stitch marker, then knit five. Now, this completes the first row to the third repeat. At the end of this first row of the third repeat, I have a total of 120 stitches. From here on for this repeat, we're always going to have 120 stitches. Now turn for row two. Now in row two here, we're going to knit five. Pass the stitch marker, and here you're just going to purl across for the second row up to the last five stitches where you're going to knit five. Now for row three, you're going to knit across for row four of the third repeat, you're going to knit five and then purl across and knit five. That's how you're going to complete those rows. And then for row five, six, seven, and eight, you're going to knit across. I'm not going to show you this repeat because it, it's exactly the same thing we have done for repeat one and two. So continue, finish the third repeat. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished the third repeat. I did a total of eight rows here, just like the other two repeats that I showed you. At the end of this third repeat, I had a total of 120 stitches. Now, in the next row, what we're going to do next is we're going to separate the sleeves. So here I have placed some stitch markers. So each one of the front panels has 19 stitches. Each one of the sleeves has 27 stitches. And for the back side, I have 28 stitches. So that's a total of 120 stitches. So what we're going to do in this next row, row one, is we're going to work this first front panel then we're going to work the first sleeve, 
and we're going to make the first sleeve close the first sleeve and then continue with the back side then we're going to make the second sleeve exactly how we make it here with the first sleeve and then we're going to finish it and close it and then we're going to finish here with the second front panel so it's a pretty long um, first row now in this first row at the end I'm also going to add my third buttonhole so if you're making this for boys you will make your third buttonhole here at the beginning of the row I'm making it for girls so I need to make it here at the end so to start here with the first row this is going to be the first row of the body I'm going to start by knitting these 19 stitches for this first front panel so here we're going to knit five again this is where you would make your buttonhole if you're making this for boys I'm just going to knit five past the stitch marker and I'm going to knit up to the first stitch marker here you should have 19 stitches there now before I continue I need to make an extra stitch and I'm going to do it right here right in between these two stitches so I'm going to make one right so pick up this bar that's between these two stitches put it onto the left needle and knit this stitch so now I have 20 stitches here remove this stitch marker I am going to continue with these straight needles these are um, 4.5 millimeter straight needles um, it's easier for me because I'm using uh, these circular needles so if you're using straight needles you can also do the same I like to make things easy so I'm going to continue with this extra set of needles and all I do is just knit these 27 stitches for the first sleeve this would be the first row so that's two Twenty-six, twenty-seven. perfect remove this stitch marker I'm going to leave these stitches here and I'm now going to continue and work the first sleeve so I have 27 stitches here on my needle I am going to turn I'm going to use the second needle here and now from here on we are always going to slip the first stitch because we want a nice straight um, finish here at the end of each row now I'm going to purl across this will be row two and this is on the wrong side now I'm going to continue with the repeat pattern that I did in the yoke but I'm not going to increase so all we're going to do is rows one two three and four I'm going to alternate between a knit row and a purl row rows five six seven and eight i am going to knit those four rows so here i just need to finish this second row purl the last stitch turn and for the third row, always slip the first stitch to begin and knit across. Okay, when you finish this third row, you're going to turn for the fourth row and slip the first stitch and purl across. So go ahead and finish the third row and also the fourth row. I will meet you at the end of the fourth row. Remember, the fourth row is a purl row. I finished the third row then I turned and I slipped the first stitch and purled across this is on the wrong side so now we have four rows here of the pattern now for rows five six seven and eight we're going to knit all of the stitches no matter what side you're on so slip the first stitch and just knit across for this fifth row now when you finish this fifth row you're going to turn slip the first stitch and knit across for the sixth row 
turn for the seventh row, slip the first stitch and knit across, turn for the eighth row, slip the first stitch and knit across. This is how we're going to continue and finish this first repeat for the sleeves. And here we're just working with these 27 stitches. Continue, let's finish the last four rows, or actually you only have three rows now because I just finished. And then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. So here for row six, you just knit also. Continue, finish this repeat, and I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the eighth row here. This completes the first repeat for the sleeves. We did a total of eight rows. So from here on, we're just going to continue and repeat the same eight rows. So here to start you off, remember row one and three, you knit, row two and four, you purl. Then rows five, six, seven, and eight, you knit. So here, I'm going to start the second repeat and same thing, you slip the first stitch and then you just knit across. Now I'm not going to show you all of those rows because basically all you're doing is just repeating these last eight rows that I showed you. And we're going to do this for a total of five repeats. So we already did one, then you're going to do one, two, three, four more. So that in total for the sleeve, you have a total of 40 rows. So that's eight, 16, 24, 32, 40 stitches and then in the last row row 41 we're going to cast off our stitches so go ahead and finish the sleeve and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished the sleeve i did a total of five repeats one two three four five i have 40 rows here for the sleeve now we're going to cast off our stitches here in this last row row 41 so to do this here i am going to slip the first stitch knit to the next now bring this first stitch over the second again knit to the next stitch bring the first stitch over knit to the next stitch bring the first stitch over and so on continue finish casting off your stitches and then i'll come back and show you how to seam the sleeve Okay, I finished casting off my stitches. Now, you have two options here to close the sleeve. You can either cut your yarn, leave a nice long tail, pass the yarn through this last loop, and then seam the sleeve after we're done. Or you can do it now, that would be up to you. And just reattach the yarn over here on this side, um, here after the front panel. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to seam the sleeve now i'm not going to cut my yarn so i'm going to turn this like this we're going to seam this from the wrong side and i'm going to use this crochet hook i'm going to use a five millimeter hook because i want this part here to be nice and loose because i'm going to be doing slip stitches so to do it this way i'm going to go here to the first stitch this is the first stitch that i closed or cast off so i'm just going to insert my hook right there into that stitch make sure you go through both loops i'm having a hard time here getting both loops there there now bring this through like this chain one and now we're going to go here along the very edge. Remember that at the beginning of each row we were slipping these stitches and this creates a nice edge so that all we need to do now is just go through this edge. Like for example, right here we have the next stitch. So right there and then find the next one that corresponds to that row, which is this one here. Grab a loop and make a slip stitch like this. Now the next row and then the next row grab a loop, make a slip stitch. Make sure that you go through both loops here, right there and on this side, and make sure that the rows correspond, especially these rows of garter stitch, make sure that they correspond so that you have a nice finish here. So continue making slip stitches. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to continue here with the back side. 
Okay, I finished closing the sleeve. I have a total of 21 slip stitches. My last slip stitch is right here along the very edge, right next to the stitches here for the front panel and the back side. Now we're going to turn the sleeve over to the right side. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. Make sure that these rows of garter stitch correspond so that you have a nice finish. So the little sleeve is all done. Now what we're going to do next is we have this loop that was left from when we were making the slip stitches to close the sleeve. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my right needle here on this side with the front panel stitches. And this is going to be an extra stitch. So now I have two extra stitches. We added one before we started the sleeve. Now this is the center stitch. And here I'm going to add an extra stitch. Actually, I'm going to add two so that in total under the sleeves, we add a total of four stitches. So I already have two that I did. I'm going to make one more right through this stitch right there. Lift it up, put it on the needle like this. That's two. And now go in to this bar here. There is no right or wrong way of doing this here. I just lift, lift up this bar right there. And now I'm just going to go right here, lift up this bar that's right before the stitches here for the back side, put it on the left needle and make one right. The important thing here is that you have four extra stitches under the sleeve. This is going to add to the chest measurement. So now, I have on my needle, let's see, I had 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23 stitches here. Now I'm going to continue and knit the stitches for the back side. For the back side, I had 28, so that's 2, 3, Twenty seven, twenty eight. there now remove the stitch marker here before we continue after removing the stitch marker we need to make one right again so lift up this bar put it on the left needle and knit through the front like this so here I have an extra stitch that I'm adding just like I did here after I did the front panel stitches so now with the extra set of needles I'm going to continue and knit the sleeve that's one now you just continue and knit the stitches for the sleeve for the sleeve I have 27 stitches it's the same thing we did for the first sleeve we're going to make a total of five repeats or a total of 40 rows so continue and finish the second sleeve I'll come back and show you after it's done to show you uh, what we need to do next. So I'm going to do the second sleeve. I'm going to close the stitches or cast off and then I'm going to seam the second sleeve. So I'll meet you back once I do all of that to show you how to add the stitches under the second sleeve and then continue with the second front panel and finish the first row. At the end of the row, I need to remember to add my third buttonhole. So I'll see you once all of this is done. Okay, I finished the second sleeve. I did it exactly in the same way how I showed you with the first one. So here I'm just going to turn this over. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. Now this loop, put it onto the right needle. So now I have two extra stitches. Now this is the one that I did before I worked the second sleeve. And now this is the loop that I had left when I closed the the sleeve. Now I'm going to pick up another stitch right into the stitch here. Just pick up a stitch and then make one right with this bar that's in front of the first stitch for the front panel. So put it over and make one right. There is no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing here is that you add these extra four stitches so that under the sleeve we have these four stitches. Perfect. Now I'm going to continue and knit the stitches for the second front panel. Here I have 19, so that's one, two, four, 
14 past the stitch marker. Here I need to add my third buttonhole, so I'm going to knit two, yarn over, knit two together through the back or the front, however you wanna do it, and knit one. And here is the first row where we have knit the sleeves and now we can continue for the body. At the end of this row, you should have a total of 74 stitches. So now we're going to turn for the second row here of the body. For the body, we're going to continue and do the same thing we did here. So same thing, we knit the first row here and the second row I'm going to purl. So here, knit two, then knit the yarn over through the back. If you're making this for boy, you would just knit five and do this at the end. Now pass the stitch marker and you're just going to purl across until you come to the last five stitches where we're going to knit. And at the end of each row from here on, we're going to have 74 stitches. Continue, finish this second row. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the second row of the body here. Now we're going to turn for row three. For row three, we're going to knit across. So knit these five stitches and just knit across. Continue, finish this third row of the body. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished the third row here of the body where I just knit across now for row four, just turn. Here you're going to knit five. Pass a stitch marker and purl for this fourth row until you come to the last five stitches where you're going to knit. So continue. And finish this fourth row I'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay I finished the fourth row this is where I purled and just knit here the last five stitches now turn for row five six seven and eight we're going to just knit across remember that at the end of each row here for the body we're always going to have 74 stitches so continue finish this fifth row and then turn for row six and just knit across, turn for row seven, knit across, turn for row eight and knit across. And this is how I'm going to work the next four rows. So finish and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished the last four rows, rows five, six, seven, and eight, where I just knit across. This completes the first repeat. At the end of each repeat, we're going to have 74 stitches. Now, from here on, you're just going to continue and repeat these eight rows, just like we did here for the sleeves, and we're going to make the same number of repeats. We're going to make five repeats here for the body. So it's going to look like this one two three four five and then in the last row here we're going to cast off our stitches now make sure you keep track of your rows so that you can add your buttonholes here on this side continue watching i will let you know exactly how many buttonholes i'm going to add here and on which rows i'm going to make them on but for now like i said you're just going to continue and make a total of five repeats just like we did here for the body make sure you keep track of your rows so that you can keep adding your buttonholes every 12th row so that's how I'm going to continue here for the rest of the body for the little sweater so continue let's finish this part and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next I finished making the body I did a total of five repeats one two three four five each repeat has eight rows so five times eight that's a total of 40 rows here for the body in the next row I'm going to go ahead and cast off my stitches now I have a total of one two three four five six buttonholes now I'm going to tell you on which rows I did my buttonholes the first one was done here in the first row of the first repeat and then we did the second one 
one on row 13, the third one on row 25, the fourth one on row 37, the fifth one on row 49, and the sixth one here on row 61. So I have six buttonholes. Now in another tutorial, I think I'm going to go ahead and do some little overalls. Many of you have commented in us that I do that. Um, this would be a very easy pattern to just continue and make it a little bit longer and then just divide for the legs. So I think I'll do that. So stay tuned for that. So here to continue and cast off the stitches, I'm just going to knit the first stitch, knit the second, bring the first stitch over over the second, knit the next, bring this stitch over the next, and so on. Here we're just going to cast off these stitches. This here is the right side. So remove that and continue with the same thing until you come to the last stitch. I will meet you here at the end to show you the finished little sweater. Okay, I finished casting off my stitches here at the end. I just cut my yarn, passed my yarn through that last loop, and then I just hid my ends. And this little sweater is all done. This is how it looks. Here's the front, and here's the back side. Now I went ahead and added my buttons. These buttons here are 12 millimeter size buttons and I used six. So the little sweater is all done. Now let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the neckline to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 22.5 centimeters, which is about nine inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 12 centimeters, which is about 4.75 inches. Now this measurement here, right across, it's measuring about 10.5 centimeters, which is about four inches. And the total length from the top here of the neckline to the bottom, it's measuring about 25 centimeters, which is about 10 inches. Now the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 20 centimeters, which is about eight inches. So based on these measurements, this little sweater is for baby girls and boys between zero and three months. Now you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to 12 months. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger. So be sure to check that out. Now here's the little boy version that I did. Remember that as we were making this tutorial, I told you where you needed to make the buttonholes for boys. This one here is um, in the same size, so there it is. Now comment below and let me know if you want me to make matching baby pants or a matching little hat. I'll gladly go ahead and do that for you all, but make sure to comment. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.